is happy monday welcome back to the sewing room it's currently 17 and a half degrees in here just turned the radio radiator up to 22 hopefully it warm up quickly it has done in the past so yesterday was the cabbage de stash hangout which sounds very very odd i have parceled up 24 parcels 23 parcels 24 parcels of scraps to go out to you lovely lot unfortunately the postage is proving quite high for that size of parcel to go outside of the uk and a lot of the us peeps i mean it's nearly 30 dollars for the postage so i appreciate that's a lot of money to spend on scraps so you are you guys are letting me know though and i'm, I'm passing it on to the next person on the list because i had a list of 32 people that would like scraps which was amazing so i have de-stashed every little nook and cranny which is great going forward what I will be doing is when I do a mass cutting out se session like I've just done I'll put together a bundle I'll put it up and I'll take a photo of it so you can see the colors I'll put it up in the shop and then first comes first served for sending it out you are currently sat in front of a giant giant mountain of gray mailing sacks <laughs> that I need to go through and do I've um as I said I think I had 24 parcels and 12 people have paid so far there's a few people that are telling me they're going to pay in a couple of days there is absolutely no rush whatsoever the only thing that I ask is if you've decided against it which is totally fine it's not a problem at all just let me know and then I'll pass it on to the next person on the list because as I say I made up 24 parcels and there were 32 people that wanted things it feels really nice though there's over 30 kilos of fabric there that has gone well, I mean, it's still there, but you know what? It, it's going. Like, loads of you guys are coming up with really great ideas for the scraps, you know, like scrappy quilts and hair ties and key fobs and stuffing for dog beds and clothes for dolls and, you know, loads and loads of really, really good ideas of what to do with all those scraps. They are just not the kind of thing that I will make. Um, every now and again, I will, but I also have all of this behind me to do that with like you know i'm never going to not be generating scraps so yeah it was really nice that you guys wanted my 30 kilos of fabric so thank you thank you very very much <laughs> so i'm a little bit chilly i've put on my very first macaws 7537 dress that i did the sew along for i put this on because i want to see how i feel about it because i love the style i'm just not sure that i like these colors on me i don't know i just i don't know how to wear this i've got it on today with some purple tights because i need to wear tights because it's cold and there are purple flowers in here so i'm thinking you know that would be good but i probably if i went out of the house i'd put some knee-high boots on probably my dark brown ones and maybe a dark brown cardigan over the top which is something i don't own so i shall have to purchase myself some dark brown wool and see if mum is willing to knit me a cardigan <laughs> these colors to me scream spring summer but then because it's a long sleeve dress i like to wear it when it's slightly cooler and I just I don't know it's one of those weird ones I don't think I've actually ever worn this out of the house I've worn it a couple of times but I don't think I've worn it out of the house so it might not survive the next cull in my wardrobe but today it is sewing day I get to actually do some sewing my pile of projects I think there are 11 in there I started off with nine and then actually had to add that hunter tank in and then I couldn't cut something else out but then I cut something else out instead so I think I there's either 10 or 11 projects there but that's going to be the rest of the sewing time for October I'm planning on doing the three knit projects today there's a jumper and then two sequin tops so I should be able to get all of those finished today which you know great and then I think what I've also cut out a whole bunch of bias binding from the Woodland Harmony oh no there's maybe 12 tops 12 12 things because I cut another top out didn't I <laughs> I've got to make bias binding from Woodland Harmony and from Savannah as well and then I'm going to put together the five panel circle skirt bind the edges with the Savannah bias binding hang that up so that it can start dropping and then I'm going to get on to this dress so I have a plan of action in my head that should be fairly kind of logical and also give me like you know that by the end of it then the skirt will have dropped enough so that I can hem it so it's in my head it's logical we'll see we'll see if it works out that way <laughs> in actuality I am very much looking forward to getting all of these things sewn up lots and lots to do I need to turn the sewing room back into the sewing room from the cutting configuration it's in at the moment so that's for job number one then get the overlocker out and get some jumpers done exciting 
one eternity later. Okay, it's much later in the day and again I wore a dress today so I have my slip on underneath this. So I added seven inches of length to the sleeves on the Kamatia boxy hoodie so that the kind because before the green one it came up to here and uh, yeah I like it I do like it I couldn't have added any more length to the sleeves because that was the width of the sequins they, they didn't go any further so they had to have cuffs this long on them or I had to like do something different with the fabric but I really liked how the green one came out so I thought this was a good experiment and I think it works. I like it. I've got the roll neck on there, which I can either fold over like I had done there. It is quite floppy in this jersey, but that's again, you know, viscose jersey is floppy. I uh, fully lined these ones and yeah, very happy with this. Very happy with this indeed. I like the shiny. I'm pleased that the, I've used these fabrics because they have been in the stash for the longest time and I didn't really know what to do with them and now I have something. I was previously I was thinking like a really kind of like big boat neck but I only had a meter of these. My green one I ended up with quite a big panel left over but these ones I've ended up with some like decent sized pieces left over but not giant pieces so I definitely couldn't have got a jumper front jumper back and sleeves full length sleeves out of the one meter so I think this is a good compromise I like it a lot so let me show you I've got the the red one back there and then also the kind of caramel butterscotch colored cable knit jumper from the Higgs and Higgs fabric so I'll just put that on okay so this is the Sheridan sweater in the Higgs and Higgs kind of faux cable knit jumper sorry faux cable knit jersey I really like this I've made I, I when I first bought this I bought it one meter cut of it not realizing how narrow it was because usually i can get like an astoria out of one meter of fabric this one yeah really couldn't do that so with the white one i didn't want to wait for it to come back into stock so i just ordered some basket weave for the sleeves which i think has worked really well but for this one they had it in stock still so i ordered another meter and a half i probably only needed two meters because i ended up with actually you know what no i probably needed two two meters ten out of this for the Sheridan because I did end up with quite a large piece that I have just turned into an infinity scarf. I did this before with my Atelier Brunette Sparkle Grey Astoria. I ended up, I ordered a metre and a half of that fabric, I ended up with a giant piece left over. So I kind of just with that one I uh, did a rolled hem on the edges and um, made it into an infinity scarf and with this one I've actually folded it in half and seamed it and then made it into an infinity scarf. With the Sheridan I've actually made the the the, uh, the neckband on this is a lot higher than it's meant to be. The neckband is really really narrow so I actually cut one that was quite a lot bigger but then with this I can wear it with this jumper and make it look really kind of like giant collar which I like or I can use this as a scarf independently of this jumper as well which is great and this fabric is so so soft again it's more soft on the outside than it is on the inside which is weird it is weird but I do like it I really like the shape of the Sheridan I like the, the big sleeves I like that it's fitted at the waist. This fabric only just has enough stretch to do this. My other one, I actually used ribbing for the waistband and the cuffs. Because I had so much of it, I used this fabric for this. For the cuffs, it's fine. The waistband is quite snug. There probably isn't quite enough give in the waistband of this jumper, but you know what? It's fine. I can get it on and off. Oh, I can get it on and off over my boobs, so it's fine. But yeah, I really like it with this and uh, it will be great for the coming months and if I don't want to have such a statement neck piece going on I can obviously take off as well. I don't know if I'd, I mean I suppose I could wear it just, but I probably wouldn't because like the whole point of this is either to make the neckline look way chunkier or to be worn as an actual scarf. But yeah, that's probably 40 centimeters of fabric so yeah, two meters ten for the jumper and then 40 centimeters for a infinity scarf so I definitely didn't need the two and a half meters I'm glad that I got this out of it as well because I really do like the look 
and like I say I did it with my Astoria in the Atelier Brunette fabric as well so I know it's something that I do like and wear so let me show you the red one and then we're done and finally my red sparkly Seamwork Astoria and Comatia which is actually Studio Cal Calico I need to remember that so Studio Calico boxy hoodie at the top and the sleeves and then the Astoria for the waistband and kind of like the bottom proportion so from about here down is the Astoria again I really like this I I mean I, as, as I say I do like my green one as well but I do think that the slightly longer sleeves look slightly more in proportion but I'm not going to stop it letting me wear the green one because I really like that this is dare I say it very festive <laughs> let's get through Halloween first before we start talking about that very very happy with this I am such a magpie when I saw these sparkly fabrics I was just like yes I must have those and didn't really even like I say think about what I was going to make with them and they've been in my stash probably for a good sort of two maybe three years now so I'm glad that they're finally made up it might seem strange to make the same top out of the same fabric just in different colors I was always one of those people that if I found something that I liked I bought it in every color so now I make it in every color and yeah I'm very very pleased with this I think it's I think it's nice it's going to look nice with Savannah there are some red tones in there it's probably slightly too bright a red but I think I can get away with it we shall see it will go with some of my other things as well the plain of fact you know the, the the plain trousers and stuff that I'm planning on making in this collection it wasn't something that I was going to do but once that green topped worked so well it was just like oh I want to get them done I want to get them done and I'm pleased that I have so yay very happy with this on that note I'm gonna love you and leave you I think dad's texting me to say dinner is ready and I have a date night with Wilson and we're going to finish watching Guardians of the Galaxy 2 we started it last night I got about an hour in and then I flanked so we're gonna finish that off this evening very pleased with what I've got done today tomorrow it's going to be working on that giant pile of Savannah that I've got cut out back there and also getting these all addressed and sent to the post office then there's another pile over there that's just waiting to be paid for and then they can go and then yeah concentrating on sewing it's very very exciting very exciting i'm looking forward to these pieces can you tell anyway i could continue wow seven minutes i can continue to waffle at you for a very long time as we know so i will shut up and i will say i will see you all tomorrow bye